Real quick about just Gen Z again. Um, yeah, like, I did see something interesting as well. Um, they were saying how they did some kind of poll where they were asking um, Gen Z, like, what, what they aspire to be when they get older and okay, all that okay. stuff. Um, and the number one thing on the list was influencer. So now people mm. are sort of, like, like, they were saying, like, the number one thing that people that would say. wants to be. More than anything else, they said influencer. So now people are kind of like worried about the future of just like, well, how much, how many if officers are we gonna have? Gonna be, how right. many doctors are we gonna have? Or how many bankers are we gonna have? If every, if everybody's an influencer, who's gonna be the other shit? <laughs> no, that yeah. is true because I mean, think, when people a whole ask, world of influencers, right, we're all online. When we were growing up, making content. <laughs> when people asked us when we were growing up, bro, yeah, influencer wasn't even in it our, wasn't a thing. It wasn't even our vocabulary. Yeah, like it was literally doctor, lawyer, fireman. Yeah. Engineer, like, you an, uh, but, but you could also be a musician and a an musician, actor and, yeah, and stuff those like that. Were there, but but influencer wasn't even new? in the. It wasn't even a word. It wasn't nothing. And and even today, I struggle to even know what exactly it, it even means because I'm like, at the Especially end of the day, there's levels to it as well. Yeah, like, because at the end of the day, it seems like n- n- first and foremost, an influencer is somebody who who's kind of in sales. Oh, you know, like sure, yeah, sure, like you're sure. you're kind of selling products, but just not doing it in a commercial. You're not doing it a thing. Yeah. You're kind of just uh, okay. Uh, you know, you're doing it through IG, where you're mm-hmm. just like, oh, this makeup kit and and all that shit. Like you're doing it, but with like a personal. Ad- you're you're doing advertising, but in a more personal way. That's what an influencer right. really is. You know. Quick question. This is still on the influencer thing, but the influencers, like the ones that we would consider moderate, like uh, Abram Preach or Moist Critical. During political time, do they normally tell people? I never watched them during political times. Me either, but no. I don't so I wonder what they're. I wonder, do they ever talk about it? Do they talk about where they're leaning towards? I've or heard. Like I've heard. Um, I've Probably heard Ab and Preach talk about it a little bit, not like in depth. But he's. A, they're also Canadian, so they wouldn't even. They wouldn't yeah, even yeah, apply. Yeah, but that's that's. that's I don't know about Moist Critical though. Yeah, that's true. They wouldn't apply. A, he might be, I think he's American. That's true. Yeah, he's. A, so, I, I believe he's American, but and I know I've Destiny is a, like a liberal. He's so like super liberal. We pretty much already know where he's going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wonder. His hair is blue. Of course, he's a liberal. No, <laughs> right, right, right. That's the show though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but yeah. I just wonder if those moderate channels even talk about where they're going. Yeah. What what direction they're, they're maybe they they're, don't have to because we kind of know. <laughs> you know, right. it's like of course they're gonna vote for you know. And this is the thing so. too. When you're moderate, doesn't it feel like you don't vote? Moderate, I feel like it's easier to not vote than vote. Because there's always something you're gonna find you don't like on both. sides I think sides. like a lot of times, moderate just like votes for like the lesser evil. Well, that's yeah. how I voted this past yeah. fucking right, election. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. just like, well, I'm going to Biden because he's the, <laughs> he's the only choice I got. So what the fuck? Shit, boy. Huh? Sleepy Joe. <laughs> oh, oh, Sleepy Joe. G- yeah, Jim Crow Joe. Yeah, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. We were talking about influencers a second ago, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Gen just Z, like everybody wants to be did. Oh, so yeah. I was going to say, like, don't you, do you think that just naturally through, like, life, um, naturally, we evolve in a way that we lose a lot of like shit, a lot of instinctual, in- instinctual things that we actually need to be better in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like now our generation, we've like a lot of us personally, where we are, we've lost the ability to fucking like live on the land and learn oh, how to like yeah. do shit yeah. that we need on the land. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like the generation after us, they're losing a lot of the, the industrial age shit, a lot of the, a lot of the, that the the, personal, the, the trade stuff, the, the, the you know what I'm saying? Critical yeah. thinking, the critical thinking, the certain things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like every generation on top loses, of them not learning how on to top do. of them not doing that. So it becomes like an exponential, like really we are just getting dumber type shit. I'm gonna have yeah. to check that movie yeah. out though, for real though. That, idiocracy, it, man, idiocracy. it's scary now, now than ever. Because it's it just really like, feels like we're it feels it feels like we're there. Yeah, it really like just you explaining that sounds crazy. Like and I'm like, shit, you know what I'm saying? And and it's crazy too because when the movie came out, it bombed at the box office. It didn't even do well. I bet if that's why you've on, never heard of it. Actually. I bet if they put it on Netflix right now, though, it go crazy. Yeah, it, it like, might be on some def- streaming yeah, service. Yeah, it now. might be. But but idiocracy. Let me yeah, write idiocracy. Um, I'm gonna write it down just so I don't forget. Yeah, and um, it's oh, and Maya Rudolph is in it. Um, who else? Terry Crews. Yeah, he plays the the president. Uh, Dax from um, what do you call it? Like he used to be. No, no, no. Dax. He, Dax the he, he used to be on. Really? No, he used to be on Punked. He was like one of those dudes on Punked uh, when Ashton Kutcher used to do that shit. 
Um, and there was this guy who always used to be in the trenches. Uh, his name was Dax. Okay. Then at some point he went into acting. So this was around that time. So I'm just saying, um, you okay, might okay. recognize his face if you see him. Okay, got you. Yeah, he plays like the one of their dumb, like really stupid dumb friends. Gotcha. But either way, it's just like that movie came out in 2006 and it did poorly at the box office. And then it took decades later for the movie to not only find its audience, but become relevant to society, <laughs> you know, because now everybody, like I saw an interview of the director talking and he was just like, I mean, I just made that movie just on a hunch of what could possibly happen. But from what I hear, hear like people tell me it's that it, like it came true, man, we're right, here. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, like everybody's real, there. though. Yeah. And not, and not, I basically like, he didn't cover that in the movie, but it just happened a different way. He was just saying like, you know, IQ people having more children, but it, it could be a possibly that, but yeah. but it seems to me it's social media yeah. killing critical thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about to say it's a combination of both because mm -hmm. lower IQ people probably they've always had more children, but then now they've gotten help to because uh, yeah, so, social, so, social, social media, media is yeah. also, is dumbing people down even faster. Yeah, don't even, you know what? Don't even think. We'll do it for you. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So like we're yeah. dumbing people down. Twice as fast than they normally would have naturally been dumbed down. Yeah, yeah, because you know he didn't. See, he didn't see when he, he made that movie. He didn't see. He wasn't media accounting coming. for that for yeah. assistance and being stupid. Like MySpace just came out around. Yeah, that time, so. assistant stupid. That'd be a good title too. Yeah, assistant stupid, something like that. Mm -hmm. 